and members of the House of Representatives that don't agree to summer investigate for the legality of Chinese nationals then where they live inside the Bodo Ninja for possible repatriate and back to their country. And they make the resolute on Tuesday for resume plenary sake of their return from recess and will last about five weeks the sake of the outbreak for coronavirus for the country. And this one follow the poor treatment of Nigerians for China, especially those and where they live for Guangzhou City. And during by this plenary, when the Speaker of the House, Femi Bajabi Amila, the lawmakers consider one motion for the maltreatment and institutional act of racial discriminate against the Nigerians and where they live for China from the government of China. The lawmakers then command the House Committee for Interior, Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring, plus a commerce, to make them take up the assignment, Shapali Shapali. And plenty of civil society groups that don't summer plateau state government so making them more transparent for the distribute of palliative to residents for the state. And um, newsmen for just uh, the plateau state capital, then they call on the residents to ask for accountability from the state government. People should be carried along. Nigerians would need to demand for accountability on how these palliatives have been distributed and what are the indices, what data are they using to justify who is the poorest of the poor in different local communities. When the government says, okay, today, between today and Sunday, we are going to be having break for people to enable people to restock, the question is with which money are they going to use to restock in their houses? These are questions we are not asking. And so if we, we, we need to now start employing other innovative measures, like other countries that are already opening up their, their countries to enable economies. You cannot shut down everything. As of today, we've lost billions of, of, of dollars. While observing other measures, you should not at any point throw people off guard because people are hiding under this culture of impunity to begin to also manhandle people. You can see at different levels across states, there's a lot of uh, executive recklessness. We've also seen some culture of impunity from the security arms and the rest. Thus far, with what the government has bantered around at the federal level and many state level, the process is not accountable, the process is not that inclusive, the process is not transparent. As a result of lockdown in Nigeria, we lost 19 persons because of uh, law enforcement brutality, uh, recklessness and cruelty. In fact, for us on the plateau, we are looking at it, our own human rights uh, committee, they are looking at it.